Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kristen Hinch. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I've got a really good video tutorial for you today about um, a look that I'm gonna call Winter Wonderland. Um, because it's getting closer to Christmas and we're full on in the swing of the holiday season, I thought I would put together a couple of looks that might be fun to try to recreate for your special holiday events. So this one is called Winter Wonderland because uh, this evening we plan to take our kids um, out to see some of the Christmas lights in the neighborhood. And it's just a really fun um, play with some new products here that I haven't played with before. So it's gonna be super fun. Um, drugstore, a little bit of high end, some of my favorites mixed in. And uh, we're just gonna to put together this look together and make it super, um, I wanna say almost a little bit icy. We're gonna put some cool tones on the eyes um, and really play them up for this winter wonderland look. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so as usual, I've put my skincare on my face, and the next step we're gonna do is put on primer. And I'm gonna go with this Becca Backlit Priming Filter. It's the one that has a little bit of glow to it, um, which is perfect for this look. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers, and we're gonna tap it in. Because um, we're gonna be outside, and doing some fun things out in the frigid cold. I just wanna do whatever I can um, to just make sure there's enough moisturizer on my face and just be able to give my whole face a glow. So this is a great primer for that. Perfect, done. Next step, we're gonna put the primer on our eyes so that our eyeshadow will set to it really nicely. This is from NARS. It's their eyeshadow base, it's one of my favorites. So I just take it from the tube, put a little bit on my hand, and then just rub that in with my finger. I don't know about you guys, but you know, with little kids, um, the Christmas season is just that much more special. I have a four-year-old, and I think this year, she's starting to ask more questions, and like, what about Santa? What about that shelf on the... Um, that elf on the shelf, what is he all about? And it just gets just gets so, so exciting this time of year, just, you know, seeing her get excited about the Christmas tree and, um, you know, giving back to others. We've put toys for those unfortunate. Um, we've helped kind of include her in that so she kind of understands what it is to give back. And it's just... It's just so, so, so exciting. I just love this time of year. It's my favorite time of year. Okay, shadow base is done on the eyes. Next, we're gonna prime our lips a little bit and I'm gonna use something different today. This is from Dior and it's their Lip Glow Cover Color Reviver Balm. And it's just this gorgeous balm that just helps protect your lips. It does change the color of your lips a little bit, so you could just use this during the day as your balm, and it gives your lips um, a really nice glow. But we'll use that as our as our um, lip kind of nourishment while we put the rest of our makeup on. As you can see, I still have this gigantic spot on my face. Don't worry, we'll cover that up. Next, what we're gonna do is put on our foundation. Nice and simple, nice and fast. This is the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation, so you can find this at the drugstore. Um, I have it in W2, and I've got my Dappened Beauty Blender. And you just open it up, and it looks like this. It's just basically um, a cushion that is soaked in foundation. Um, so we're just gonna put this all over our face. This foundation is really great because it gives you like a luminous, natural glow. It doesn't go on too thick or heavy and you can really blend it out nicely with the Beauty Blender brush. So I really, I really love that. It just kind of gives you flawless coverage quickly, which is important as a mom. You wanna be kind of in and out with your makeup, um, but still have it look really nice. Next, we're gonna get into covering up this spot um, on my face. And for that, today I'm gonna use something a little bit heavier, and that is the Bobbi Brown um, Corrector Concealer. 
So it comes in a little pot like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that tiny little brush that I used in my last video, and we're just gonna pinpoint conceal this spot and see if we can get rid of it. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of scabbed over a little bit um, because it's trying to heal. So that, that makes it a little bit tougher to conceal when it's a bit of an uneven texture. So all you can do is just try to get some of the redness away um, and just build up in really fine layers to achieve that. Perfect. It's a little bit more concealed than it was. Um, I mean, if you were up close to me right now, you would still see it, but at least it's not as red and is not like a target on my face. <laughs> so the next step, we are gonna play with some bronzer today. And for that, I've chosen another drugstore product. This is from Physicians Formula, and it's their butter bronzer. And I don't know if you've had a chance to smell this, but it literally smells like the tropics. Like it smells like you're on the beach. It's just amazing. But because we're gonna do a bit of a cooler, kind of icier tone on the eyes, I wanna make sure that my face is nicely warmed up so that it, um, it doesn't look too cool toned everywhere. So I'm taking a ginormous, big, fluffy brush. This one is from Real Techniques. It's from the drugstore, super affordable. We're gonna swirl it in our bronzer, dab off the excess, and then just go basically to all the points on your face that the sun would naturally hit. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, just really softly. I'm gonna bring it down here um, and do under my chin. That kind of always gives you that slimming look when you do your jawline. I'm gonna dip it in again. We're gonna hit those high points on your forehead and you're just gonna keep big kind of circular motions right there. You can see how it's just warmed up warmed up my cheek, come right down your chin, just like that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Just It just does wonders to making you feel a little bit warm. Don't forget about your ears. You don't ever wanna have like that foundation line by your ears. So make sure you really include your ears in the process. Especially me with short hair, I have to be very conscious of that, that that's all being included. So we're not gonna to contour today. We're using this bronzer to kind of do that job for us. Super quick, super fast, you're done. You have a little bit more color on your face. In my case, you don't look so ghostly white. You'll have to excuse my hair today, guys. I'm about to go to the hairdresser and get it done. Um, so it's a little bit all over the place and looking crazy. But um, next, we're going to work on our eyebrows. And I'm going to show you a different option other than that eyebrow pencil that I've used in my last few videos. And that is use the eye palette um, that you're going to use on your eyes. For me, I've got darker eyebrows, so I can just pick the dark brown in this, in this eyeshadow palette. This is the one we're gonna play with today. This is from Essence. This is from the drugstore. I think it's probably $5. I think that's how much it is. And you get eight eyeshadows in here. Some of them are shimmery and some of them are matte. It's kind of the perfect eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use this dark brown right now and just help to fill in my eyes a bit. I'm using a double-ended brush. One end is like an angular brush and the other end is just your spoolie to kind of work through um, once you've got the product in there. So you just do nice little even strokes until you've got the coverage that you're comfortable with. Now we're gonna take the brow gel. It's a tiny little like spoolie brush and we're just gonna work that through. And this just helps lock them in place. I got my coffee today, guys, and I drove through the drive through because as you do with a five-month-old and it's minus 20 outside, you don't really want to be going into the Starbucks. And the sweetest thing was happening. So I pull up to the window and the lady um, there in Starbucks said, oh, your drink has been paid for. And I was like, that's sweet. So I'm going to return that nice favor and pay for the car behind me. And it was just awesome. Just the goodwill and just the kindness of people this time of year to like pay for the person behind you in the Starbucks line. I thought that was so sweet. Um, so yeah, eggnog latte as usual. Um, okay, so next 
we are going to go right into the eyes. I'm leaving the blush till the end because I've got a really fun blush palette that we're gonna play with, and I'm not exactly sure which blush color I wanna put on, so we'll do that at the, at the very end. Next, we're gonna dive into the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dome brush. Uh, this one is from MAC and it is 217. It's probably one of their most famous brushes. And it's just a really nice shape to get into the crease. So from our palette by Essence, you can see how it's all kind of purpley toned. I'm gonna take this matte color here and dab my brush into it, dab the excess off, and work that right into the crease. Now, I haven't played with these eyeshadows before, so I'm not really sure how they're gonna perform. Um, but what I can tell you right away here is that it's blending out beautifully. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's amazing. that didn't take much effort. And it's got a lot of pigment and product on there. And it's like blended out like a dream. That is amazing. $5 for this. Like, ridiculous. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Gorgeous color for the crease. Like, amazing, amazing, amazing. So next, because we're trying to keep this icy and cool, I'm gonna take, okay, so there's a really pretty pink here and a really pretty like lavender and they're both shimmer shades. So I'm gonna take that and put it right in the center of the eyelid. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between the two and mix the color. Don't be afraid to do that, guys. Like, you're not gonna wreck the shadows in the pan and it's gonna create a custom look that you've put together and that you've thought of, which is super fun. Okay, so we're gonna dab that right in the center of the eye. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. I'm kind of living this for the first time and it is amazing. Look at that, look at that shimmer. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it's just gorgeous. It's totally gonna achieve that winter wonderland look that we're going for today. So just pop that right in the center. Try to be really focused with this because I'm trying to give that center of my eyelid just that super gorgeous pop. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. Wow. I mean, it's just this icy, cool, like lavender color, it's just amazing. Okay, so we're gonna take a flat-ended brush and we're gonna dip it in this taupe color here that has a tiny bit of a shimmer. And always knock off the excess because especially when you're dealing with a brand new eyeshadow, you don't know what type of fallout's gonna be included in that eyeshadow. So if you don't knock it off first, you're gonna have all sorts of fallout under your eye that you're gonna have to clean up later and that's not as much fun so just always dab it off and what I'm gonna do with this guy oh my goodness that's super pigmented is we're just gonna focus that on the outside corner right like that. sorry guys you might notice that I'm in a different um, shirt here this is editing Kristen when I went to go and edit this video I realized that my phone cut out for way longer than it should have. So I just wanna quickly show you what I meant with the post-it notes. Basically you take a post-it note, you cut it to a size that's easy to be like manipulated kind of around your eye. You take the sticky part, you line that up with the corner of your eye and angle it right to the edge of your eyebrow and you kind of just let that stick there in place and then you take your pencil, which I don't have right with me now, but you'll notice that it just gives you a nice line to be able to apply your liner. And in this look, I used an eye pencil as opposed to like a liquid liner, um, only because I like the ability to be able to smudge it out more and not have such a harsh line. But that's how I achieved that look. And again, I did it on this side and I took that angular brush and I just really worked at it and really, really, really smudged it out so that um, it's a very blended line right there. So much later in the day, my makeup is doing amazing. This eyeshadow held in place beautifully. 
a $5 eyeshadow palette. You seriously can't go wrong. It's amazing. So um, on with the rest of the video. Sorry guys, my video cut out. I ran out of space on my phone. So basically where I left off was just smudging in that brown line and making sure that that winged part of the line looks really like smudgy and beautiful. So I was just kind of working on this and making sure that it looks really well blended. Just like that, you have a beautiful cat eye. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and be back in just a sec. So both eyes are done. I don't know if you've seen that trick before using a post-it note, but I've always found it to be super handy. I don't wear eyeliner or even a cat eye every day. I like to keep it quite simple just with mascara, but if you're looking to ump, ump up your look a little bit, this is a great way to do it and help to give you that guideline of where to go. Your eyes are never gonna look identical, ever. All you can do is try to get them as similar as possible, um, but that is a really good tip to just kind of make sure that your, your cat eye is going in the right direction, which should be just starting from the outer corner of your eye, right up sort of to the end of your eyebrow. So now that we've got the liner on and we're pretty happy with that, if you've, if you've made any smudging marks or you're not quite happy with the crispness of the line, you can use your concealer when we do the under eye concealer to help clean that up. Um, so I'll show you how to do that afterwards, but I'm pretty happy with the way that mine look. So we're going to move on to um, putting a little bit of eyeshadow right underneath here just to kind of help balance out that look a bit. So I'm going to go back to my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take my angular... Um, brush again, the same one I used to buff out the liner. I'm going to dip it in sort of the second to lightest dark shade here. Did that make any sense? Yeah. Anyways, we're going to take that and we're just going to put a little bit right underneath the eye. And you're just going to help kind of connect that cat eye. So take it right up into that corner and just buff it along the lower lash line. And that just kind of helps give a little bit of a balanced look from top to bottom. And just like that, you've got kind of a little bit of a smokiness going on under the eye. Next, I'm gonna take my little tiny fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip it into this, the two lightest colors and kind of go back and forth a little bit. And this is gonna be our under the brow kind of highlight. I don't want it to be too intense but we're just gonna take that and go right under the eyebrow and give it a little bit of a boost. So we're gonna mix the colors again and go right under that eyebrow. Just gonna put a little bit more on this side to make them a bit more even. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's just a gorgeous little glow right under the eyebrow. So that part is done, perfect. Um, you can take a little bit of this and put it right in the inner tear duct and brighten up that area there, which I always need extra love there because that's where I get the most purple. So we're just gonna do that again on this side, just right in there. It's kind of the biggest tip I can give anyone who feels like they haven't had enough sleep. Right in there, gorgeous. Kind of gives that little extra glow. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is a little trick and this is using something called a pigment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna buff up this very center part of the eye a little bit. I want a little bit more drama there, a little bit more oomph. So this actually is from Laura Mercier, and this is their eye shimmer. But you could use any pigment that you have. You could actually go into this palette, use a dampened brush and tap it into this outer lightest shade and put that right on there. Actually, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna pat that right into that icy creamy shade, dab a little bit off and go right here, right like that. Right, very concentrated into the center of the eye. And you see how that's added that extra little bit of shimmer right there? Do that on the other side. Boom. Just like that, you've added that extra little bit of glow right to the center of your eye. I love it. Okay, so I said I would show you the Laura Mercier and that's what I'm gonna do. So it comes with a little brush and the pigment is loose, fine particles. Take the brush and go right over top where you wanna go. 
So I'm just gonna go nice and gentle in the center of my eye, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Just like that, right in the center of the eye. We'll try to make this winter wonderland glow. After some coffee here, we're gonna go right into mascara. Take your eyelash curler, make those eyelashes look so nice and full and curled upwards. And then today I'm going back to my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, one of my favorites, and I'm just gonna put on a couple coats of that. The thing about this time of year is that the temperatures are so cold outside. You go outside and sometimes you've got like one of those balaclavas or whatever on your face to kind of keep you warm. Um, it might be another idea to pick out a waterproof mascara, just something that will help keep the longevity of your look. I know this one doesn't budge, so I'm gonna use this one today. Amazing, that just looks so, so good. So now we're gonna go back to the cheeks and I'm gonna show you this palette again at Drugstore. It's from, N, from NYX or NYX. It's their Sweet Cheeks um, Cheek Palette. And there are so many gorgeous, gorgeous shades in here. Um, all the way from like sort of a peachy coral color to like bright pinky purples, a deeper shade. Um, and then this one here has a little bit of a shimmer. So it's kind of like almost like a blush topper. So you could choose one of these matte shades and then put a little bit of this over top and it would be stunning. Today, I'm gonna keep with the brightness because we want this to be kind of like an icy winter wonderland look. I'm gonna go with this very bright color here. So I'm gonna dip my brush in, always dip the excess off and go right into the apples of your cheek. Oh, that looks a little scary. Don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. Let's just do the same thing to the other side. So I'll blend it in. I'm really happy with the way that that blush is looking. That's kind of just the amount that I feel comfortable wearing. Oh, this hair. Next, we're gonna go into concealing under the eyes. Let's get that area all brightened up and then we'll move right into our highlighter. So we'll take the pinky shade and put that right in the center. I'm actually gonna do a little tiny bit down the bridge of my nose as well. Just to kind of lighten up that area, highlight it up a bit. That looks so, so, so great. I love it once I got my concealer on. Now this is where I had mentioned before, take a Q-tip and take your concealer, dab your Q-tip into your concealer, just get a little bit on there, dab it off if you got too much, and then just precise, precise out that line a little bit. So just use your Q-tip in that corner, outside corner of your eye and spend a little bit of extra time there making that winged liner look amazing. Just do it on the other side. This is probably the area where you might have had a little bit more fallout too, potentially from either your liner or your eyeshadow. So it just kind of helps to take an extra second and just really clean up that area. Oh my goodness, that blush color though, it's amazing. I'm also gonna take this and work it around my nose a bit. That's why I always, always, always have Q-tips. I keep some in my car and I always keep some in my purse because you never know where you're gonna be, and this time of year where you're blowing your nose like a trillion million times, it's nice to have something there to like just take away that redness. Oh my goodness, that eyeshadow though. Like it's just so amazing, it's just beautiful. Um, now we're gonna move on to highlights. So we're gonna take our favorite highlight stick, and we're gonna dab that right on our upper high cheekbones, and we're gonna take that right up here. We're gonna dab it in, and we're just gonna blend with our fingers. I know, this might seem boring, guys, because I use the same highlight all the time, but this highlight really, I mean, it's just, it's drugstore, it's super affordable, and it just does the job. Now, because we're talking about this winter wonderland look, and we're adding that glow and making it a little bit sparkly and festive, we're gonna add another, where I'm just gonna go grab it. We're gonna grab another highlighter and put that gently on top of that. So this highlighter is from Laura Mercier um, and you're just gonna take a really fluffy brush, put a little bit on your brush and go right over top of where you put that Maybelline highlighter. And I'm even gonna take a little bit and do it down the center bridge of my nose. 
a little bit on the end of my nose, a little bit on my Cupid's bow. A little bit on this side. This would also be a really good blush topper. So if you've done that matte blush, you've done your subtle highlight, but you want to give your blush a little bit more of a pop, you could just put this right on top of your blush. But today I'm just going to focus it right on that upper high cheekbone. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Okay, how are we looking? Amazing, super festive. So for lips today, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna line my lips, and then I'm gonna use one of my favorite glosses from Buxom, those plumping glosses um, that are just really stunning. So the liner, this is Drugstore. Um, this is by Rimmel, it's their Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. This is in Enchantment, which happens to be number 70. And I'm just gonna rim the outer part of my lips. Now a trick to make your lips look a little bit bigger, start at the corner and go upwards as opposed from starting from your cupid's bow and going down. If you do that, the natural arc that you curve will make your lips look a little bit bigger. I need a Q-tip. <clears throat> you always wanna keep a Q-tip handy. when you're trying to be precise and work on your lips. This is just the perfect um, pinky nude for me. It gives a little bit of extra color. Smush them together. And then what I do is I actually fill in my whole lip with this. Now is the fun part and we're gonna take the gloss. So this is a full size from Buxom. In one of my previous videos, I showed you the sample size. This one is in Kimberly, and it's like a bubblegum pink. It's amazing. It goes over top of basically any lip color that you have, and it will lighten it up a little bit. But on top of this, it's just going to look so great with our whole look. Isn't that so pretty? Like, it just gives the most simple sparkle. Maybe this is not quite the right pigment here. Let me just grab another pigment um, that's a bit sparklier. Okay, so this pigment, I got the Advent Calendar from Tanya Burr this year, and this was one of her little samples in the Advent Calendar. And it's a loose pigment. So you just take the little top off. Do you see how, whoa, spilled some. Do you see how sparkly that is? So I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna dab it in the pigment. This is where it gets fun, guys. Take a little bit off and put this right on your lip. Do you see how that's added just a little bit of extra sparkle to my lip? Take the time, blend it in, and just like that, we've added that little bit of extra festive glow to the look. Winter Wonderland, here I come. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed the video today. What a festive look that you can pull together for a day out, enjoying the weather, the cold weather, getting all bundled up. Um, whether you're going to see Christmas lights in the evening, it's just a fun look that was icy cool and really brings out some of those sparkles that uh, may have been tucked away in your cupboard for most of the year. Bring them out, sparkle it up, get your glow and your warm bronzer going and put this look together. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please give it a thumbs up if you really did and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, thought I would do a little check-in. Um, it is six hours since I put this makeup on today and I just wanted to show you the longevity of this eyeshadow because I'm super impressed. It's the first time I've used it. It's totally drugstore. It's by Essence. Like all the pigment, all the color is still there and it's looking incredible. My foundation and my blush and my bronzer are all still in place. The only thing that's off is the lipstick but it wasn't long wearing lipstick it was just a gloss um, so I would easily just reapply that to maybe do a bit of touch up with concealer but yeah totally super impressed um, I would highly recommend that eyeshadow palette